Out with the old, in with the new. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 releases coming to and leaving Netflix in October 2017. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at movies and TV shows that are either coming to or leaving Netflix throughout October 2017. Number 10, Friday Night Lights, leaving October 1st. Friday Night Lights didn't have the highest ratings throughout its initial run, nearly risking cancellation after only two seasons. In true underdog fashion, though, the series developed a dedicated following that kept it going for another three years. The sports drama's fanbase has only grown since all five seasons came to Netflix, allowing subscribers to binge Coach Taylor's emotional, poignant, and meaningful journey from start to finish. You listen to the people that love you, and you listen to people that you trust. Most of all, you listen to yourself. While the entire series is leaving the streaming service, Friday Night Lights won't be forgotten anytime soon. Its genuine characters, thrilling football segments, and realistic depiction of small town life will always stick with us. This is for <laughs> Number 9 The Death and Life of Marsha P. Johnson, coming October 6th. Darling, I want my gay rights! Netflix has become the go-to place for eye-opening documentaries, and the death and life of Marsha P. Johnson should be no exception. Making its premiere at the 2017 Tribeca Film Festival, this feature film examines the mysterious demise of Marsha P. Johnson, an African-American transgender activist. Stonewall, Marsha and I fought the cops off. We were in the streets turning over cars. The movement started the next day. Although Johnson's death was ruled a suicide in 1992, many of Johnson's friends and followers suspected there was more to this tragedy. Almost 20 years later, Mariah Lopez convinced the New York Police Department to reevaluate the case as a potential homicide. Based on early reviews, Netflix seems to have another riveting true crime story on their hands that's sure to get people talking. Number 8, Love Actually, leaving October 1st. It might take place during Christmas time, but this romantic comedy is perfectly tailored for every day of the year. Whether it's date night with a loved one or a slumber party with friends, you can never go wrong with Love Actually. The film's powerhouse cast, boasting Alan Rickman, Emma Thompson, Hugh Grant and Keira Knightley among others, recounts compelling storylines, helping remind us all that love truly is the most important thing. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that Love Actually is all around. Just as the holidays can't last forever though, Love Actually is leaving Netflix's streaming library. So hopefully you have a copy of it on DVD or Blu-ray for future viewings. Number 7, Mindhunter Season 1, coming October 13th. It's not easy butchering people. It's hard work. Friday the 13th has the distinction of occurring during the month of October in 2017, so chances are you'll be in the mood for something especially unsettling to watch on this infamous day. Netflix has you covered with the first season of Mindhunter, a crime drama centered on FBI agents attempting to get inside the heads of serial killers. Why are you so tense? No. I'm not tense. Based on Mark Allshaker and John E. Douglas's book, season one will consist of 10 episodes. Netflix is apparently so confident in the project that they've already ordered a second season. That's a pretty good sign for a show premiering on the unluckiest day of the year. How do we get ahead of crazy if we don't know how crazy thinks? Number six, One Tree Hill, leaving October 1st. Tree Hill is just a place somewhere in the world. Maybe it's a lot like your world. Maybe it's nothing like it. If you're looking for that 2000s nostalgia sweet spot, then One Tree Hill, with its theme song by Gavin DeGraw, and stars like Chad Michael Murray, is necessary viewing. I don't wanna be anything other than me. When the show was added to Netflix, it not only gave longtime viewers an opportunity to catch up, but also allowed a new generation to discover the highly entertaining show. You're my best friend, and I would never cut you out for a guy. Okay, no matter who he is. Or how happy he makes me. You'd better be all up to date, however, because the residents of Tree Hill are bidding Netflix farewell. Between the loss of Friday Night Lights and now this, there is going to be a massive void left behind in Netflix's sports TV show section. Blue for the win! <laughs> Number 5, Before Midnight, coming October 1st. We appear and we disappear. And we are so important to some 
but we are just passing through. Netflix is saying goodbye to some great love stories come October. The good news is that we're getting this acclaimed romantic drama in exchange. Taking place nine years after Jesse and Celine's previous encounter, Before Midnight further explores the evolution of their relationship. The one downside here is that neither Before Sunrise nor Before Sunset is currently streaming on Netflix. Even if you've never seen its predecessors, though, Before Midnight still works as a standalone story, complete with honest dialogue, picturesque scenery, and two performers at the top of their game. When it comes to portraying life, love, and marriage, few films are more authentic than this. But if you want true love, uh, then this is it. This is real life. It's not perfect, but it's real. Number 4, 30 Rock, leaving October 1st. Why are you wearing a tux? It's after six. What am I, a farmer? Despite always being a critical darling, 30 Rock was never a huge hit in the ratings department. Once this uproarious show started streaming on Netflix, more and more people started to realize what they'd been missing out on. One of my New Year's resolutions is to say yes, yes to love, yes to life, yes to staying in more. Much like Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Another comedy series created by Tina Fey, 30 Rock is littered with so many ingenious one-liners and fast-paced running gags that you need to watch each episode at least twice. I've worn this old jacket since 19... But, uh, and now they've just thrown it away. Now that it's leaving Netflix, re-watching the whole series will prove exceedingly difficult. Words can't describe how much we're going to miss Liz, Jack, and Tracy. So we'll just let Jenna play the series out with the Rural Juror song. Number 3, Miss Congeniality, coming October 1st. Hey, I'm here. Hey, what are you blind? Miss Congeniality is another movie with great rewatch value, thanks in part to its colorful premise, snappy dialogue, and Sandra Bullock's lovable lead performance. For some reason, however, it's been missing an action from the Netflix library. Luckily, Gracie Hart has finally made it to the streaming service, and she couldn't have come at a better time. In an era where TV dramas have taken a dark turn and the news does nothing but feed our paranoia, audiences could use something optimistic and fun, and Miss Congeniality more than fits the bill. I have to say April 25th, because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. Oh, and Miss Congeniality 2 will also be available if you're desperate to find out what happens next. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. She's FBI. I'm not, please just set up. Number two, Titanic, leaving October 1st. With its timeless romance and astounding visuals, Titanic has kept audiences coming back to the theaters, on home video, and via streaming services. James Cameron's unsinkable blockbuster will notably celebrate its 20th birthday towards the end of 2017. If you are planning on streaming Titanic to coincide with this landmark anniversary, we've got some bad news. The Oscar-winning epic will be disappearing from Netflix after only a few months. Even if you've seen the film a million times, you're still probably not ready to let go. I'll never let go. <laughs> At least we can all take comfort in knowing that our hearts will go on. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There slapping the bass, man. There you go. Slapping that bass, man. I slap it that piazza. Please don't do that. Do you guys mind if I sit with you? Sure, Winnie. We were on our way. Our group was forming. Number one, Stranger Things season two, coming October 27th. Will, are you okay? Since the Duffer Brothers currently only have one season under their belts, calling Stranger Things the best Netflix original series to date might be a little premature. If the creators can expand upon the show's world, characters, and lore in season two, however, this supernatural drama could be on the fast track to outshining House of Cards and further cementing its place as a cultural and television phenomenon. Arriving just in time for Halloween, the sophomore season promises plenty of creepy imagery, menacing creatures, and nostalgic throwbacks. Of course, no trip to the Upside Down would be complete without some waffles. So be sure to have a box of Eggos on hand for this binge. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.